I find your lack of penetration disturbing. Hey, what's up, welders? Welcome to another exciting edition of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. Thanks for joining me. And today we're going to be taking another look at the 3G vertical uh, test with SMA, the uh, stick test, and some of the technique we're using for the vertical Z-weave with the 7018. Whoa, my hat just got really big. But uh, anyway, I had a couple questions about it, so I'm going to try a little bit of a computer demonstration and just see if I can make things clear for you guys out there. Again, if you have questions, feel free to comment or send me an email, tigmaniac at gmail.com. All right, here we have our test plate. Three-eighths inch, six inch. We have our bevel here. and there's our edge. Now this circle is going to represent our electrode. We'll be starting out with a 3 30 second 7018 and we're going to be laying in the root pass for the 3G vertical up. Think of it like this. Don't think of it as you're weaving. Think of it as individual welds on each side. So it's going to go something like this. And obviously you're going to go faster. I'm just not that fast with the mouse. You're burning it in. You're tying it in. See how I'm not even thinking about the middle? I'm just welding on either side, tying in those edges. I'm going to speed this up here just so you get the idea. We don't have to keep doing this. Kind of hard to do with the mouse. Okay, so there's our root pass. Now I'm going to change color for the next pass. Our first fill pass we want to catch part of the root and more of the bevel edge. So it's the same thing. Really ignoring the center, holding on the toes. No stopping. It's just me readjusting my hand here on the mouse. I know these edges aren't straight. This is just a demonstration. Make sure you get to the edges of the plate and tie into your backing strip. All right. After two, your root pass in your first fill. I like to move on to the 1 8 inch and again we'll switch colors here and basically we're going to do the same thing weave 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 see just think about tying in those corners and not worrying about the center Make sure you got your edges good. All right. Then I like to turn the heat down a little bit. And we're going to have our cover pass here. So you don't want to go more than a 16th inch. Whoopsies. 
from the edge of your bevel. Now it's time. I'm just going to crank this up a little bit. Now we're going to hit our cover. Weld. 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 One and two and one and two and Mississippi, 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 Mississippi. All right, so I hope you guys got some of the basic idea there from the computer model. Now let's take a look at the actual welding slowed down to one quarter speed so you can actually see what the stick and puddle are doing. Alright, see how I'm holding on the edge? Then jump to the other side. Back, hold, jump. Jump. Burn the edges. Just completely ignore the middle. Don't even worry about dragging it across the middle. I mean, you have to drag it across the middle. You can't just hop from one side to the other. But don't even think about the middle. Completely ignore it. Just think, push that rod in the corner, burn it in, no undercut, and then hop to the other side and do the same thing. Just think of putting a weld on each side of that gap. And that is really the key to getting this 7018 vertical Z weave. The faster you can get across the middle, the flatter you're going to be, the happier you're going to be, and everything's going to work out well. It's really not that hard, but it took me a few months to get the hang of it until it just clicked. Weld the sides, ignore the middle. Like Chucky2009 said in one of his videos, the middle will take care of itself. Well, in the words of Forrest Gump, that's about all I have to say about that. But uh, here's a money shot for you. This is like the th my third fill pass on this one. You see the nice smiley face type even ripples. There's a restart there towards the top, which is some of the ugliness you see. But remember, just weld side, 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 side. Ignore the middle, side, side side. Thanks for watching Adventures in Welding. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Get your friends to subscribe, man. Help me get up to 500 uh, subscribers so I can get a, a decent name for this channel. And I'm going to have a nice announcement this week. We've got two new sponsors coming on board. So until then, I'll see you next time right here.